welcome to our channel circuits analytica in this video we will discuss shunt transistor voltage regulator voltage drop across a reverse biased zener diode in breakdown condition is denoted as bz and it is constant this feature of the zener diode makes it suitable to use as a voltage regulator a simple zener voltage regulator the major drawback of a simple zener voltage regulator is its poor load regulation if load resistance goes below a certain value output voltage is no longer constant as zener diode comes out of breakdown to overcome this drawback in a shunt transistor voltage regulator a common emitter amplifier is used transistor in the shunt voltage regulator acts as a regulating element by conducting the output current more or less as the transistor is connected in shunt with the load resistance rl this circuit is called as shunt transistor voltage regulator this is the circuit diagram of a shunt transistor voltage regulator so here the transistor is connected in common emitter configuration the shunt transistor voltage regulator consists of a current limiting resistance denoted as rsc a zener diode which is the regulating element an npn transistor and load resistance rl zener diode is the most important component which is the regulating component provides reference voltage output voltage of the circuit depends upon the breakdown voltage of the zener diode resistor rsc is the current limiting resistance and shunt transistor which is denoted as q acts as a regulating element behaves as a variable resistor connected across load resistance rl let us analyze the circuit when we apply kvl to the input loop which consists of unregulated dc voltage current limiting resistance rsc zener diode and base emitter junction of the transistor we will get v in is equal to v rsc plus vz plus vbe applying ohm's law we can write v rsc is equal to i in into rsc where i in is the current source by the unregulated dc voltage applying kcl at the collector of the transistor there are three currents associated with the collector of the transistor the three currents are i in which is the incoming current and iz collector current ic and output current i not are the three outgoing currents so according to kcl we can write i in is equal to iz plus ic plus i not apply kvl to the output loop which consists of common emitter terminals of the transistor and load resistance rl we will get v not is equal to vce is equal to vz plus vbe so when we apply kvl to the input loop we will get v in is equal to v rc plus vz plus vbe equation number 1 applying kvl to the output loop we will get v not is equal to vz plus vbe equation number 2 substituting equation 2 in equation 1 we can write v in is equal to 
बी आर एफ सी प्लस बी नॉट इक्वेशन वन पॉइंट वन वी इन इज इक्वल टू बी आर एस सी प्लस बी नॉट वेर बी आर एस सी इज द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप अक्रोस द करंट लिमिटिंग रेसिस्टेंस आर एस सी एंड बी नॉट इज द आउटपुट वोल्टेज now let us consider the line regulation so line regulation means the load resistance rl remains constant and input voltage varies within certain limit so we know that b in is equal to v r c plus v not where v not is equal to v z plus v b e when input voltage falls that reduction in input voltage will reflect in the voltage drop across the series resistance rsc that means input current is adjusted input current is reduced in such a way that output voltage v not remains constant and when input voltage rises when input voltage rises this time also output voltage remains constant and that increment in input voltage will reflect across the current limiting resistance rsc voltage drop across the current limiting resistance rsc increases the increment in input voltage will reflect in the voltage drop across the current limiting resistance in general we can say that whenever input voltage varies that variation in input voltage will reflect across the current limiting resistance rsc if variation in input voltage is positive the voltage drop across rsc increases proportionally and if variation in input voltage is negative that means if input voltage falls that variation in input voltage will reflect as such in the voltage drop across current limiting resistance or sc so when unregulated input voltage increases that variation in unregulated dc voltage will reflect as an increment in voltage drop across the resistance r s c when unregulated input voltage decreases that variation in unregulated dc voltage will reflect as a decrement in voltage drop across resistance r s c next let us consider the load regulation of this voltage regulator load regulation of a regulator means input voltage remains constant and the output current varies so when output load rl varies so as to keep the output voltage constant output current i not also must vary proportionally so output voltage v not is equal to i not into rl the input current i in can be written as i in is equal to v in minus v not divided by r s c as right hand side of the equation is a constant i in is also constant so during load regulation input voltage v in is assumed as constant output voltage v not also must be constant value of current limiting resistance rsc is also constant that means right hand side of the equation i in is equal to v in minus v not divided by rsc is a constant apply kcl at the collector of transistor q we will get i in is equal to iz plus ic plus i not so if load resistor rl increases i not falls as v not is constant so here transistor q will conduct more current so that 
the change in I naught reflects in general current I Z and the collector current I C. Current flow through zener diode and the collector of the transistor is reduced such a way that increment in output current is compensated. Similarly, if output current I naught falls, if output current I naught falls, then sum of variation in zener current and the collector current compensates the variation in output current I naught. If load resistance RL increases, I naught falls as B naught is constant. Transistor Q will conduct more so that change in I naught is compensated by adjusting the value of IZ and IC. If load resistance RL decreases, output current I naught increases as transistor conducts less so that change in output current I naught is compensated in collector current IC. Thanks for watching Circuits Analytica. Enjoy learning.